everybody so today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready slash tech up slash whatever for cross-country so this is Owen's first cross-country schooling and I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through my process uh, I'm gonna start by grooming him please ignore his disgusting pee stains because my horse is filthy and I can't control him <laughs> Um, but as you can see, I don't have him tied up because it's, it was his first time. I've never tied him to a trailer. I don't have any reason to think he would pull back, but better be safe than sorry. I tied him up after we schooled and he did wonderful. So just going to give him a good brush and clean him as best as I can, minus the pee spots. Obviously, I start with the curry comb, move to the hard brush, and then the soft brush. Next, I'm going to pick out his hooves. As you guys can see, I pick out my horse's hooves before I trailer them, just for safety reasons and just because that's what I do. So his hooves were clean for the most part, but I always double check them before I get on in case anything got on them in the trailer. So I just wanted to take a second to let you guys know about these gorgeous fits breeches I'm wearing that I got from Country and Stable. They are super cute, super comfy, and they literally glue you to the saddle. So be sure to go check out Country and Stable. I will link all of their stuff in the description of this video if you want to go check it out. Next, I am going to tack up my pony. The first thing I do is I put on his breastplate to keep his saddle from slipping. And I just slide that on over his head. And then for my saddle pads, I'm just using this Ziki Boutique red pad because y'all know I'm obsessed um, and then I've got his half pad to help his saddle fit better and um, in case you're wondering my red saddle cover is also by Ziggy Boutique and I'm gonna throw my saddle on and then my total saddle fit girth and it's actually a shoulder relief girth so it helps give his shoulders more room to move so I'm just gonna throw that all on there and my gorgeous red stirrups up there are by American Equus just to complete the whole red ensemble as my sponsors love to help feed my red addiction. So after he's all groomed and tacked up, I go ahead and put on my boots. I'm using my new Magic Keep Bell Boots and Cross Country Boots. Uh, for the first time, as you see, I am having to take the tags off uh, just to make sure they fit first. But it's my first time using them. I ended up loving them. They were super cute and they're super protective. I absolutely adore them. They are so fancy and so nice. Obviously, I have the red ones because... <laughs> what else would I do with my life? And I just make sure that when I put the boots on, I re-velcro all of the straps after I put all the boots on just to make sure they're on nice and snug. I don't really show that in this video, but just so you guys can see, to make sure they don't slip or twist at all.
then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my vest. This is a temporary vest, and I also have an inflatable vest, but I only wear that when I'm schooling, training, or above fences. And then I'm putting my nice helmet on, cause safety. And then I will put my gloves on, and also I forgot to film me putting on my medical armband. Um, I suck, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I did put that on. And then uh, I'm going to go all over him with some fly spray because this cross country place is by a lake. And also it's, you know, giant grassy field. So there's a ton of flies and I want my little pony to be happy and not bothered by little pests when we're riding. So now it's time to bridle. And when I take my horses cross country, I like to use a fly bonnet, which I will throw on his head in a second just to keep all of the bugs and flies out of their ears as it can be really annoying depending on your horse, but I like to do it either way just to keep him a lot more comfortable. Also, it's just super cute, so why wouldn't I? So there you have it. Now you and your pony are all ready to go out and kill it on some cross country. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned. My next video will be the vlog from this cross country schooling. So make sure to subscribe.